it's uh, uh, today's question is uh, for 2015 October November paper 21 and the question number is 5 it is concerned with uh, waves so the question is a progressive wave transfers energy of course it does a stationary wave does not transfer energy of course it does not state uh, two other differences between progressive waves and uh, stationary waves so you have to find two different uh, uh, points of differences for these things so one of the uh, differences is that we have for progressive waves uh, if I draw a certain diagram over here so I am not finding a way to diagram so let me say let me draw the diagram here somewhere in this space so what uh, uh, we have is in a progressive wave progressive wave if I do have a wave like this the phase of this particle and this particle is different the phase of this particle and this particle is different in progressive waves but in case of a stationary wave what we have is what we have is all of these things all of these things will have same phase and all of these things will have same phase and that these two will have exactly opposite phases so that is one point of difference between the uh, progressive and the stationary stationary waves so because what happens is uh, in this case uh, when this becomes like this this becomes like this all of these points all of these points will be at the same same state of their motion at a particular uh, particular occasion and all of these things will be at the same stage of motion and these two will be in exactly opposite stage opposite phase so that is one point of difference here the other point of difference is that uh, in a progressive wave what happens is the amplitude which means the maximum displacement is constant throughout time or through different positions so this thing this thing this thing this thing they are all constant over time but in case of a stationary wave what happens is sometimes the wave is like this sometimes the wave is like this sometimes the wave is like this and so on so in each of the cases initially the amplitude is this later the amplitude is this later the amplitude is this so the amplitude is differing so that means in a uh, in a stationary wave the amplitude is not constant the amplitude itself varies so there is one another point of difference between the progressive and the stationary waves now the other question a stationary wave is uh, formed on a stressed string, stressed string between two fixed points A and B, A and B. The variation of the uh, displacement y, y, of particles of the string with distance x, x, along the string for the wave at time t equal to zero is as shown. So this is at uh, time t equal to zero. So that means at the very uh, beginning it says, it means the very beginning the wave has a period of 20 milliseconds so it is time t is equal to 20 millisecond and the wavelength lambda is equal to 1.2 meters the maximum amplitude of the particles of the string is 5.0 millimeter max amplitude so now we have to draw draw a line to represent the position of the string at t equal to 5 millisecond its time period is 20 it is a stationary wave so that means so uh, that means uh, what we have now is this time is this time is one fourth of the total time period this time is one fourth of the total time period so what happens here is let us discuss the uh, vibration of the particle so if its wavelength is 1.2 meter so this is 2 this is 1 this should be 1.1 and this should be 1.2 3 uh, 3 4 5 so so this thing should be 1.2 meters and uh, this thing should be 0 0.6 this thing should be 0 0.6 meters the structure of the wave should be somewhat like this it might go like this the amplitude is uh, 5 so 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 it should be it can go like this like this like this and like this and so on the wave could be like this uh, so like this and, and so on so now what you have to do is we have to draw a line to represent the position of the string at t equal to 5 milliseconds. So that means what happens here is this point, this point will rise here, come here, fall here, and come here. And this whole time will be 20 milliseconds. So this is the time required by the particle here to come like to go like this, come like this, uh, go like this, and like this. So at 5 milliseconds, what it can happen is 
so it can come only from here to here 5 millisecond another 5 another 5 and 5 total 20 so at 5 millisecond what happens is it can reach up to here so if it reaches here this point should reach up to here so when you draw the line we have to do like this so it's 5 millimeter so this is uh, uh, 0 0.6 uh, this is 0 .0 .0 0 0.6 so at the 0 0.3 it should reach the top here top so it must rise like this rise like this rise like this uh, like this then from here it should be somewhat like this so it should fall like this like this like this like this like this and like this so uh, I think I don't, do not need to draw more so if need be you can draw it yourself so this is the position of the wave uh, at 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 t equal to 5 millisecond now in the second question we have to state the phase difference between the particles of the string at x equal to 0 0.40 and x equal to 0 0.80 meters so at x equal to uh, 0 0.4 it is somewhere here this is 0 0.5 0 0.4 so at that time it's uh, it's here the particle is here and 0 0.8 means uh, the particle will be it is 0 0.678 so this is the particle at 0 0.8 meters now what happens is what happens is in the stationary wave when this thing reaches here this thing reaches here so that means the particle this here is now coming down this is going up after some time so they are exactly up in phase so this phase should be exactly uh, it is uh, if I write 180 degree then it will be uh, 180 then it will be degree if I write uh, uh, in terms of pi the, there will be no unit so let me write in terms of degree here so it is 180 unit is degrees degrees now still explain the change in the k of the particle at an antinode between t equal to 0 and t equal to 5 uh, uh, millisecond so what we have is so this point is the antinode here antinode because here there is the highest displacement here and after some it might go here so here the the, the point is the antinode so at t equal to 0 t equal to 0 it is going up with a full velocity and at t equal to 5 it is right uh, at the top it has stopped it has stopped and trying to come down so that means uh, initially initially there was uh, uh, the k was highest k was highest and at t equal to 5.0 seconds the k is the lowest and equal to 0 so let us say at uh, t equal to 0 equal to 0 uh, the, the portion the portion let us say I write it as uh, 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 as y the portion y was moving was uh, moving up up with a high velocity with a high velocity with high velocity so in essence uh, ke is equal to maximum equal to maximum so at the z so at uh, z uh, the, <coughs> the 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 uh, particle has stopped particle has uh, stopped stopped to prepare for to prepare for returning to prepare for returning returning so 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 ke there is equal to zero at the moment